for severe scoliosis, you have basically have to imagine it's, it's a crooked spine. You have to make it loose. And the only way you can make it loose is the disc base is all calcified. So in these cases, I go through the front, the chest, and then through the stomach, um, through half inch or one inch incisions, probably three or four of them, and then release, we cut the disc base at um, seven, eight, nine, ten different levels. And that makes it very loose. And then through the back, we put in maybe 10, 14, 16 different little stab holes everywhere and x-ray guidance we put the screws in. So it's a bunch of little incisions everywhere in order to help preserve the muscle. I would say that their hospitalization is around 50% of what it would be open. Uh, they don't usually require blood transfusions. They don't require um, bracing afterwards. And then I, what we call mobilize. So I have these patients start walking right away, start moving right away, and they're when they're done with surgery, they're not on significant amounts of narcotics. Those can cause problems, you know, with open surgery. And so they're up, they're moving, and they feel more normal. The problem, though, is they feel better than they should, and then they do things that they shouldn't. So it's kind of a balancing act.